Hello, welcome to Hansel Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials. Today we're looking at the Image Segmenter app or the Image Segmentation app in MATLAB. So they give you one there and you, know, you could follow it yourself. But I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to have a look at this. So I can't do the whole paper, but I can make a fairly decent go at it. Unsupervised texture segmentation using active contour model and oscillating information. So I can do up to the active contour model and the oscillating information is not done. So you could download that paper and read it yourself. So now so we find the image segmenter app which is there. Let's just explode that so we can see it. And we load the image, the zebra. There he is. And I suppose I could just expand that just a little. So we want to try and segment the zebra from the background. Now, a number of ways of doing this, but look, this is just to give you an idea. So, new segmentation. Oh, so I had that done already. And we're going to draw a free hand. So we're going to draw reasonably close to the boundaries of the zebra. This is kind of like Photoshop. And we're going to go down the leg, up the leg, down the leg around getting a bit blurry here so we have a fairly rough idea there's the mask and so we're going to do active contours and up in the top left hand corner you can specify the number of iterations so I've been messing around here before and I think 100 is a little low and I've been doing 300, 500, etc. We'll go with 400 because 500 might take a while and we just press the go button. And in fact, in effect, you can sort of see over here the marching ants. And it's trying to flood fill till it gets to a distinct boundary. You can see it there, just like the tide coming in. So we've done our 400 iterations. We can show the binary if we, oh, we can show the mask there with the opacity. So I just don't think that's that important, to be honest. Uh, show the binary. There we are, that's just the black and white. And close active contours. There we are. We can export. Now you can export the images and you can generate the function. Let's do both. So we can call it BW1 and masked image. Yeah, let's go with that. And then we can do the generate function. So let's look at the unsave function here. So it generates a function called segment image and that would return uh, the masked image and the, the BW image. Okay, so two outputs, one input in the RGB. You can just scroll down there. Uh, we're just creating the empty mask. That's where I marked it out. And you're doing polygon to mask, which I think I've done in some previous tutorials about six years ago. You create the mass region and you iterate you know, 400 times, 500 times or whatever it was. So we can get out of that. We won't bother saving the function, but you could save it if you wanted to. Ask me, do I want to save? No. If I look at my command window here, my workspace will contain those images. Note here logical and uint8 so just show you the logical 
So the light you can remember now is uh, ones and zeros, black and white. And the reason why I'm putting in figure is I want to show the two figures. So there's the black and white. And then we can show, sorry about that. We can show the other image in here, which is the mast image. Just one sec. Okay. And there's the mast image. Now, when we look at the two of them, you can see the black and white is black and white. And then the mast image here is you can sort of see the grayscale values along there. You can sort of see it. Now, it's not brilliant because we sort of missed a bit of his hump. And I suppose I should have drawn the freehand a little nearer, but that's part of the research and where you're going on. I got the belly fairly well, and I got the hind legs okay, but the, the back is a bit of a disaster, so that will be a little for research. Go back to the segmenter. Uh, you can do it again. This time you can include the texture features. The Gavar filters run there. Okay, now there may not be much difference, but just to show you that you could use the texture features. Show the binary. Okay, export. I won't bother with the generate function. And this time it knows these exist already. So you get BW1 and mast image one. Go back to your command prompt. BW1, so this is the one uh, with the texture. And then finally, last image one. So this is the grayscale with the textures. So let's try and arrange them. So the top two are, uh, you didn't use the texture in the active contours. And the bottom two, you did use the texture in the active contours. Now, this would be further area research, you know, to investigate the use of texture and was it of benefit and was it not a benefit. But I just thought that would give you an idea of how to do, you know, fairly cutting research in just a note to date here, 2014. So in 2014, which I'm on the 3rd of March 2018 here, it would require some fairly serious programming in MATLAB, and we've done it very quickly um, with the app. Now, I might do another uh, demo of the segmenter app for a different sort of image, but that's all for today, and thanks very much for listening.